Hello everyone and welcome to my video about my Southern Schools class, Rep 10. This model has not been running for, I don't know how many years, a lot of years. As you can tell it's an old model because the paint's fading. But it wasn't working but I eventually got it to work as the motor in here, tender driven, was not malfunctioning and I think it was this coupling rod, it might be on the other side, which wasn't actually there. So I, had to find, I, had to, I found it, but it took quite a lot of time. But it's still quite a jerky model. It's yeah, it's not the most efficient. It runs quite noisy, and it it kind of gives off a smell. So it, it needs running in and oiling and maintaining and stuff like that. So the job's nearly done. But when I found it in the box, the smoke deflectors weren't there. I got these off a friend called Bradley which they come from Newton Dale Works, which is his layout, as you might see on his um, channel, which I'm not sure what his new channel name is, but hopefully there'll be a video response you can look at and then look at his videos. Me and Bradley are good friends. We go to modellers at Woking Winch for our society. Um, and a lot, we swap a lot of models and stuff, so you might see a lot of our models mixed together but he gave me these three and yeah so it looks slightly more better with the smoke deflectors right if we look on here first we look at the tender right quite heavy because of course the motor's in there so if we take the top off let's do it over here right. the tender top hollow in there. Right, this is your motor, the extra wires, your pickups, that's your pickup from the loco, and then here is your earth, which wasn't there, that's why it wasn't partly working. And then the hydrant. And right, that's why. Just wait for a click. There you go, there's your click, so that's on. Can't come off. And then the loco. As I've talked about the smoke deflectors, here's your front. Now it has got the wrong number on. The reason for that is I couldn't find the smoke box door, but I'm going to buy a new one. So at the moment it's got the number 41043, which is completely the wrong model of train, but hey ho. And what I like about this model is here you've got an arm, which is made of actual metal, so it looks more realistic, and then the name is actually made out of mesh, you can't really see it that well on the camera. It says Repton. And it's actually made out of mesh, which looks more realistic. And the piping, which is here, is actually made out of metal. As you can see there. And then the safety valves are made out of mesh as well, not plastic. And then, for some odd reason, I don't know where it's gone, there is no bar going across there, unlike the other side, which there is. So, I need to buy a new one. It might be around somewhere, but I can't find it. Original Hornby link for Tender and Loco. Same with everyday trains. There you get a Hornby. And there she is. Okay, I'll leave you with some clips of her doing her first runs of 2010. I hope you enjoyed it. Any comments, any questions, if I've missed out on anything, please ask. Okay, hope you enjoy the clips of her running. Thank you.